I don't know how much more expressive you can get than being a rock and roll singer, said the great Robert Plant, who was the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. And my cultural artifact today that I'm going to be presenting on is Led Zeppelin 4, which is their fourth album. It's not called Led Zeppelin 4, they just call it that. And what Led Zeppelin means to rock and roll is that it changed it forever. It changed the norms of just having an electric guitar, a bass, singer, and drums. And a lot of rock and roll has influenced the future generations. Like it was big in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but from the time onto that, it has it might have not been the most popular music genre, but it, it has influenced singers and songwriters and bands so much. And, you know, it has changed music forever. And to use my the album, which is the vinyl, you have to have a record player. And unfortunately, I don't have a record player, but to use it, you would put it on the little knob and then you would get the needle you have to lift up the needle and you have to put it on that the outer edge and then you got to push it down or there's a usually a little lever that lowers it onto the album and the album's spinning and then with the needle on the album speeding it just starts playing music and it's pretty cool um i've used one before but like i said i don't have one and the values that this album individually, because Led Zeppelin has eight albums. I chose this one because it has a lot of importance. And this album proved, like the critics in 1971 when it was released, wrong. Because the critics were saying that Led Zeppelin is only selling records because of the name. And not because of talents or, you know, musical genius. And the... Lead guitarist Jimmy Page decided, you know what, let's prove them wrong. Let's release an album that doesn't have any title. It, it just has a picture, an oil painting. And they released it. And it turns out from 1971 on, it has sold a total of 23 million copies. Just that album. And it's just it's number four in the rock and roll top album as far as being sold. And, you know, furthermore, this is, Led Zeppelin has helped me get through high school. That's when I started getting really, really getting into Led Zeppelin and their disc discography and their albums and all that. And helped me, you know, encourage me to get through high school. It helped me in my uh, losing weight and going to the gym because their so some of their songs get me really pumped up and really going and get my adrenaline going. So I listen to their songs sometimes when I work out and, you know, just like their general emotion that they sing in their song, in their songs, I try to, you know, portray that in myself, you know, just being positive, being happy, trying to, you know, always see the good things in life and not just all the bad and negative energy around us because there's a lot of negative and bad energy around us in the world today. And so, to sum up, you know, rock and roll has changed the music genre for forever. And, you know, rock and roll has influenced so many artists and bands, not to just copy them, but to make their own music. Because that's what Led Zeppelin did. They made their own music. They weren't just, you know, let's just copy what other people are doing. And they just made, they made their own music. They did their own thing. And that... That encourages artists and bands to just do their own thing, you know? And like I said, Led Zeppelin is, to me, is in my opinion, Led Zeppelin is the greatest band of all time.